Now, the formula using which we shall change it from active to passive voice is same as the previous formula only a little alteration that is this being. Hello everyone, this is Polumi Dash and welcome back to English Literature with Polumi. Today is the last Friday of the month, so I am going to start the video series on English drama. So in today's video, we are going to talk about voice change. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I post a video. Voice change will be beneficial for all the students reading in the school level. So in this video, we are going to learn about what is voice change, how do we change voice from active to passive. And I'm also going to give you a trick uh, using which you can uh, change voice easily from active to passive correctly. So first we must know what is voice. So by means of voice, we understand someone's voice. So uh, easily we can say that by voice change, we change the way a line is spoken. So we basically change the structure of a line but keep the meaning same. So in the definition of voice change, we can say that voice change is a way in which the valve expresses whether the subject does the work or the work has been done by the subject. Or we can say that voice change may work ke dwara hum hi ye pata chalta hai ki jis subject ne koi kaam kiya hai ya koi kaam us subject ke dwara kiya ja raha hai. So that is basically voice is all about. So there are basically two voices, active voice and passive voice. Active voice is when the subject does the work actively. That is subject koi kaam khud se kar raha hai. Like I read books. So I am reading the book actively. And passive voice. Passive voice is when the subject does the work passively. That is koi kaam koi subject ke dwara kiya ja raha hai ya usse karwaya ja raha hai. So books are read by me. So books ko mere dwara parwaya ja raha hai ya main par rahi hu but actively nahi but passively par rahi hu. So that is passive voice. So in this video I am going to tell you I am going to teach you how to change voice from active to passive and I am going to give you a trick a very simple trick using which you can actually change the voice correctly and answer all the questions right. Now we shall take the first example that is Tom writes article. The sentence is written in simple present tense. And first, we need to identify the subject, verb and the object of the sentence. So, Tom is the subject, writes is verb and articles is the object of the sentence. Now, let's change from active to passive voice and for that we will follow a formula. What is that formula? This one. So, According to the formula, first comes the object, so articles is the object, then comes the v-verb, as articles is a plural form, so the b-verb will be r. Then comes the p3 form of the verb, that is past participle form of the verb, the verb of the sentence is writes, so the p3 form of the verb will be written, then comes by, so by. And then comes the subject. Tom is the subject of the sentence. So, there comes Tom. So, the passive verse of the sentence Tom writes article will be articles are written by Tom. We must keep in mind that while changing from active to passive voice, we cannot change the tense of the sentence as well as we cannot change the meaning of the sentence we have to keep them same. So in this change sentence, in this passive voice, R indicates that the sub, uh, tense of the 
sentence is present and articles are written by Tom holds the same meaning as Tom writes article. Now we shall take the second example that is Kim is singing a song. This sentence is written in present continuous tense. Now first we shall identify the subject verb and the object of the sentence. So Kim is the subject of the sentence, is singing is the verb and is song is the object of the sentence. Now the formula using which we shall change it from active to passive voice is same as the previous formula only a little alteration that is this being. Why being? Because it is continuous tense. So while we change a continuous tense from active to passive, we have to use this being. So the formula is object. So object of the sentence is a song. Then the beaver. A song is a singular number. So is is the beaver. Also it is present. So is will be used. Then being. So being. Then the P3 form of the verb that the verb of the sentence is sing. So the P3 form of the song, uh, verb will be sung, then by, so by, and then the subject of the sentence that is Kim. So the answer of this question, Kim is singing a song, will be a song is being sung by Kim. Now we shall take another example and this example is from present perfect tense. The children have seen the picture. This line is written in present perfect tense. Again we have to identify the subject, verb and the object of the sentence. So the subject is the children, seen is the verb and the picture is the object of the sentence. Have is essential for writing a sentence in perfect tense. So by identifying or seeing a have or has in a sentence, we can say if the sentence is written in a perfect tense or not. So the formula for changing this active voice to passive voice is actually the same that is object. So the picture is the object. So the picture then has or have been this is the thing that we have to add while changing from active to passive voice in case of perfect tense. So the picture is a singular number so has been then the p3 form of verb the p3 form of verb is already used as in the perfect tense the verb is always in the p3 form so we have to just write it down as it is so seen then by so here comes the by and then comes the subject so the children here is the subject so the children so the end result of the sentence the children have seen the picture is the picture has been seen by the children that's it for today in today's video, we learn about voice change, a very important topic in the English drama. So I hope this video will prove helpful to you and I'll come back with other such videos on English drama on every last Friday each month while I'm running a video series on English drama. Other than that, all the other Fridays of the month, you'll get videos on English literature as usual. How do you like the new idea of this video series do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel i post video every friday so come back every friday to watch videos as such so i'll see you on the next video till then stay healthy and stay safe thank you